The Veterans Party of America is a political party based in Moses Lake, Washington, USA. Overview The VPA fielded several candidates in 2003, including a U.S. Senate candidate in Florida. However, the party achieved limited electoral success, and bitter infighting caused it to split into two rival factions in 2006. In August 2008, the original VPA officially ceded its membership and ideology to the modern Whig Party due to that organization's relatively large military membership, totaling at the time about 10,000 people, roughly 6,500 of which were affiliated with the military. The Veterans Party of America was formed a second time by a group of veterans in December 2013 after the United States Senate approved a new budget deal which included cuts to military members' benefits. Within its first two months, the party amassed a following of almost 20,000 Facebook likes, 50 state affiliates having been formed, and then over 50,000 Facebook likes after just two and a half years with the party receiving federal recognized political group status. In August 2014, the Veterans Party of America endorsed its first candidate for Montana State Legislature by establishing the Montana Veterans Party. In March 2015, the Veterans Party of Mississippi, the state affiliate of the National Party, obtained ballot access within that state. It was the first Veterans Party to do so nationally. As of April 2015, the party holds two elected offices, with the first being Michael R. Hart, Mayor of Commerce in Oklahoma. The group had numerous candidates for Congress and state legislature in 2016. Topic: 2016 election. In August 2015, the Veterans Party announced Chris Keniston, an Air Force veteran of Texas, and Deacon Taylor, an Army veteran of Nevada, as the president and vice president candidates. The Veterans Party had full ballot access in Colorado, Louisiana, and Mississippi, and had right in access in over 10 states. The VPA also had candidates running for elections across the country, from the state level with candidates for Senate, all the way down to the local level. The Veterans Party of America received 7,251 popular votes in the presidential race, for 0.00005% of the vote. 